The Untrop district of Hamm in North Rhine-Westphalia, a typical German industrial town. But it has one unusual feature. Nestled between a meat factory and a power station is one of Europe's biggest Hindu temples. Rolf Dieter Terfort is secretary to the priest at the Sri Kamachi Ampal temple. Helping out here every day, he's like a messenger between two worlds. Rolf Dieter knows the Arumagam Paskaran well. And he also knows why he wanted the temple to be built here, of all places. He believed that this was a holy site back in the mists of time. He became convinced of it through his meditation. And he and his family and some other priests were able to move into the residential block on the opposite side of the street. Paskaran has lived in Germany for 26 years. Like many Tamil Hindus, he fled the civil war in his home country of Sri Lanka. The 1980s saw over 40,000 Tamils move to Germany. He's the energetic type, and it was thanks to his tireless efforts that the temple was built nine years ago with the help of donations from Hindus all over Europe. And it didn't take him long to find an architect either. They didn't know any architects, so they just looked through the yellow pages and chose one at random. And that was me. It was that easy. Later I asked the priest what led him to me, and he said it wasn't anything to do with him, it was the gods. They're also the reason why once a year devout Hindus from all over Europe gather here for the temple festival. Many of them are exiled Tamils. This family came from the Netherlands. It means a lot to us, also in terms of home. I don't really know how to explain it, but it reminds us of home. Everyone meets up here and prays together. That's very nice. For Angel and her family, it's the most important day of the year. They come here to honor the gods and to ask for special favors. All the worshippers choose which particular gods they'll pray to. But today, these Hindus who have descended on Ham are celebrating Sri Kamachri Ampal, the goddess with the eyes of love, from whom the temple takes its name. She's our mother. The goddess is a mother to us, and she is holy and very important to us. The joyous atmosphere also attracts a number of Germans. Today, Rolf Dieter Terfurt is acting as a steward. I always love the sight of this celebration, and I'm delighted that everything is so harmonious. There's no alcohol, and people are very peaceful, despite the crowds. And the atmosphere is just really pleasant. For Angel and her family, the festival reminds them of their home in a way that's bittersweet. For people who can't return to Sri Lanka or India and take part in the festivals there, this is a wonderful alternative and they're very glad of it. The highlight of the festival is a parade starring the goddess, who towers above the crowd on a nine-meter-high float. Some 30,000 people watch her go by, a Hindu festival in the heart of Germany. <laughs>